job today coach guys came out flat in the first quarter but after that you guys didn't let your foot off the gas what do you tell your team for them to recover I mean I think what I did as a coach I was able to get their attention by getting attacked um, 
Um, after that, I think that that raised their energy to understand that, you know, if I wanted more than you, then it's a problem. You know, so I think that after that, we started to get our groove and try to fight our way back off of our defense. I mean, I think when we're not making shots, our defense changes the basketball game. So at halftime, to be down, and to start the uh, game down 14, to go at halftime tied up, which is really 0-0. Zero, zero. And then after that, we was able to play national basketball. When I'm seeing you out there coaching, I think, you know, for me watching you, um, it's a good thing that you use every moment to be a teaching lesson. So what, what do you get out of that with your team? I think that's what I enjoy the most as a coach, you know, to make everything a lesson, you know, whether it's, you know, a lesson about basketball, a lesson about life, you know. Um, I, I, I try to do that because, you know, it's a game of runs. And, you know, our kids, you know, this day and age, our kids are a little bit emotional. So that's my chance to, you know, kind of calm them down, you know, kind of get their games, you know, their heads back in the game. You know, so I think that that's important for coaches to actually do. Yeah, listen, man, keep doing a good job. And I got a present for you at the next home game. All right, appreciate it, appreciate it. I hope it's my picture. No doubt, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. Hey, good job, fellas. Good job and a great win tonight. Um, what, what did Coach Irvin say to you guys after the first quarter? Because you guys came out flat. What did Coach Irvin say to you guys to get you guys back on track? He was saying, like, not playing hard enough. Gotta play hard. Gotta put our foot on their necks. That's it. I saw you take the challenge of holding their best player. Um, he had a couple of feet on you. Um, what did you do to try to slow him down? I was just forcing him left. I just lock him up. That's what I do. Defense first. No doubt. Mr. MVP, Mr. MVP, you had a great weekend, man. You had a great weekend. Um, what what do you do for the team? I just do my part, rebound, cross the boards, uh, just play good defense, and yeah, contribute to the team. Yeah, you came out smoking, and you ain't let up. Uh, you got anything you want to say for the rest of the year and your team and what you guys got uh, planned for the rest of the year? We're going to keep working. That chip coming home. I'll be watching you guys, man. You guys keep working hard, all right? All right. No doubt. That's real. That's real. You see, we love hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop has always been good to us. Good to us. It's been good to me. Good to me. And we just want to show the world. Show the world. How much we appreciate you. Yeah. As a shorty, let my tape rock to my tape pop. This joint right here is my dedication to hip hop. I didn't rap back then, but I was on it hard. And I ain't never miss a park jam, word to mom. And it was all about the bars, not cash and cars. Remember seeing Kumo D Dolo battle a whole squad. And Curtis Blow gave y'all the bricks. That's when I used to blast my box on the fire escape. Uh, and hip hop started out in the park to be as. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready?